We still need oxygen. Oxygen's right there. No, no, no. No, we don't need oxygen. He's dropping chloride. Yeah, he's dropping chloride. Yeah, he's dropping chloride. He's dropping chloride. Right, NaCl with a little s. So what does the s mean? It means boom, 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 all nice, neatly and or organized. So there's certain shortcuts, like the shortcuts you guys started and the shortcut you're still trying to take by not using very many poker chips, and the shortcut that you guys are trying to take by not very using very many poker chips. The first piece of advice you guys have to realize is. The shortcuts that you're taking and the advice that the teachers need to learn is that the shortcuts we take are actually preventing them from learning what they need to learn. Uh, the nice thing about the poker chips is it's fairly easy to just go bang, 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 bang and add a few more poker chips. You need more. You need. I'd like you to represent uh, sodium chloride, solid sodium chloride. We're going to drop that stuff, solid sodium chloride, into liquid water. And we're going to allow that sodium, solid sodium chloride to fall to the bottom of our liquid water. And the instant the solid sodium chloride goes to the bottom of our beaker, I'd like you to show me what that would look like using your poker chips. Go ahead. Empty piece of paper, separate piece of paper, please. Four separate pieces of paper, or just one piece of paper? Each person is going to hand something in. means there are Na pluses surrounded by liquid water and there are Cl minuses surrounded by liquid water. This box means the picture that you're looking at. So they went through all of grade 9 and 10 um, memorizing chemical equations for substances and in grade 10 learning how to balance them but not ever actually being able to picture what they were doing or even really understanding what it means whatsoever. And I have seen it because just teaching double displacement reactions we realized they have no idea what it means for an ionic compound to be dissolved in water. So we're definitely going to have to do lots of visual representations of that but maybe see balancing and we were thinking they obviously know what these particles look like because we had already used molecular model kits to show them the shape of um, molecular molecules and, and we had talked about 
ionic and covalent bonding, and we had already done all this stuff, and we just took for granted that they knew what these molecules actually were. And then, as they're trying to balance it, they have to represent the molecules with the poker chips, and we're realizing that they can't, some of them, just like a few, can't do CO2. They had no concept in grade 11 university level chemistry that it was one carbon, like a poker chip needed to be there with one carbon on it, and two oxygens had to be attached to it. And they, when I showed them that, that's C, O, and there's two of them, one C, two O's, that's when they went, oh! And then it made me so scared that they went through all of grade nine and 10 probably accurate, accurately writing CO2, but never actually knowing that it meant one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms, until you force them to show you what does that mean. And that was amazing to me.